You know, I don't know Dolly's first name. I don't know Montavani's first name, and I should. But I know Liberace's first name, Blagiu. That's right. You're one of the few people who could pronounce it. Actually, it's Polish for Walter. And no one could pronounce it, so I used Walter in my early life. And then eventually I dropped Walter. One thing I've got to ask, Liberace, why the middle name Valentino? My uh, family, both my mother and father, were great fans of Valentino. And, of course, he was very popular uh, during the era when uh, I was born. And so they hooked the name onto me. But I never really used it except in uh, some early days when uh, they required a full name on some document or something, you know. Liberace, when it was learned by our listeners that I was to interview you, they phoned a number of questions. Would you mind answering them? Oh, no, I'd be happy to answer them. The question, Liberace, is this. This, of course, being in Wallingford, between Waterbury, Bridgeport, and Hartford and Springfield, is a very large Polish colony. And the question is, Rezumna Popolsko Pa? Oh, no, but my mother does. And uh, my mother's the Polish half of uh, my family, and the other half is Italian. My father's Italian. And uh, mother speaks Polish very well, people say, and uh, uh, she's my interpreter. And the reason I never learned either language is because my mother and father didn't uh, understand each other's respective languages. So they spoke broken English, and that was the first uh, English I spoke. It was sort of a, uh, it wasn't continental, because if it had been continental, it would have been kind of charming. But I spoke a kind of a broken Milwaukee English, and uh, it had a little bit of the flavor of my father's language, a little bit of my mother's, and consequently, when I was in high school, uh, it was suggested by my English teacher that I take speech correction. So I went, I enrolled in several classes in summer school, and I began to study uh, speeches, speech making, and projection of voice, and so forth. And along with it, I corrected some of this uh, uh, accent that uh, people found uh, not charming, but uh, amusing. <laughs> Is it common for people to come up to you and begin speaking in Polish? Oh, it happens all the time because uh, I'm very uh, aware of the fact that my mother has become a very famous mother, and they know she's Polish, and they just assume that our whole family is uh, Polish-speaking because of her. She uh, uh, writes to a lot of wonderful Polish people, and they correspond, and uh, so they uh, naturally come up to me and think I speak Polish, but the only Polish I know are a few words that my mother told me never to use in public. <laughs> <laughs> so we won't ask you what they are. <laughs> Liberace, it's a funny thing. Your brother George looks very Italian, and you look very Polish. How is that? Well, I don't know. I, I think it's the other way around. I... George has blue eyes, he has lighter complexion, and uh, I think he looks more Polish. I always felt I looked more like my father, because he's dark and uh, has uh, olive complexion. But I guess uh, I, I've inherited some of my mother's facial characteristics, the round face and the well-fed look, which is typical of, a, typical of a lot of Polish people because they like to eat. Tell me, when you go home to see Mama, does she fix you up with Polish food? Well, Mother has become a very all-around cook. She doesn't get a chance to cook too much nowadays because uh, we're blessed with a wonderful staff in our home and a wonderful cook who's been with us, Gladys, her name is. And Gladys is a uh, colored lady from originally from Texas, and uh, she used to have a catering business, and her entire family used to go around to various Hollywood homes and cater parties. And she came to our home one time, and we were so impressed that my mother said, I've been in the kitchen long enough. Let Gladys do it. <laughs> so once in a while, though, because she doesn't really have to do it, mother enjoys 
cooking up a, a meal, but she's just as good at making spaghetti as she is at making uh, Polish food. Go um, to use the yeah. dog, use oh, the yeah. tomato. She makes all of that. I love that food. I love it. Uh, but we were raised in our home. We were raised on a very continental menu. And some of the things I ate as a kid, uh, were people just couldn't believe, you know, that we had such a varied menu in our home. But it was, well, like, you know, when I was four or five years old, I ate ro oysters in the half shell and things like that, which most kids don't eat until they're adults. 